lovely sunny Tuesday morning. I'm just about to start a walk from outside the church in Font Hill Bishop. Um, I'm going to do a loop that takes me through uh, towards Hindon and then round the back of Font Hill Abbey Estate by Font Hill Lakes and up round the back of Font Hill House and back down into Font Hill Bishop. It's about 10 miles, I think. But um, anyway, lovely sunny day. Looking forward to this. goodness for that. I just had to negotiate a short distance to this road. Although it's only a B road, it's actually quite a popular road and traffic does now fly along it. Now we're back onto a byway. The only trouble is it's some um, fairly long grass which is quite damp so probably going to get wet feet. the end of the wet grass. Just coming into the top end of the village of Hindon. That's an interesting little building here. Um, sort of half, I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but yeah, little round turret at the end of a garden wall. Very pretty. Um, yeah, so we're at the top of a uh, Hindon High Street, but I don't think you'll be able to see any of Hindon, which is actually quite a pretty village down there. Um, High Street's quite a quaint thing, but we're not going to go down there because we're sticking to the byways, going straight across. So just reached the junction of two byways. Uh, that's the one we've come along. And we're now going to take a left turn and follow this byway up here, up towards the edges of the wood at the top. Um, we don't think we actually go into the wood. We skirt around the edge of it, but uh, anyway, it should be interesting. Just going into the edge of these woods. It's lovely the way the sun filters down through the trees. The camera doesn't really pick it out and do it justice, but uh, you get the shafts of sunlight coming through. And in the field there, we got a few cows. So I've just come out of the woods and to a spectacular view. Overlooking the downlands, um, 
I suppose towards um, Semley and then up the hill towards Shaftesbury. Yeah, in places this track's a bit of a quagmire. Don't know how well you'll see it. So uh, it's about 20 past one. So I've decided to stop for a spot of lunch, a sandwich, and uh, your obligatory cup of coffee. I'm only just over a third through, way through this walk, but um, it's a lovely little spot to stop. So. Uh, Thought I'd take the advantage and I was starting to get a bit hungry anyway. about you, but do you reckon the farmer's got OCD? I don't know how will it pick it out, but the um, wrapped up bales are in absolutely perfect dead straight lines virtually. Very pretty. <laughs> I think this is part of the um, estate wall that uh, young uh, Mr. Beckford had built when uh, the first um, Fontill Abbey was built. It was designed to keep uh, well, the ruffians away and stop um, the locals uh, hunting on his land because they couldn't horses couldn't jump the the high wall. Sun's gone in now, <coughs> which is uh, definitely taking the edge off the temperature. Um, I'm in the middle of a little field between two cops. Um, about to go back into these woods here up ahead. Nearly walked up somebody's private drive. It's difficult to find out where the path was, but um, it's through this field and there's a nice little stream running through it. Which obviously, uh, this time of year, is not too bad. I imagine it'd be probably very boggy midwinter in here. So I've just come into this field. <coughs> this lovely old tree here. And underneath, there's a uh, Oh, it's strange, it's like a concrete wall or something. Not sure what it is. This bit of concrete is out of place. In fact, you can even see there's a pipe coming out the top of it up there. Most strange. I mean, that brick building over there is a pump house. So whether this used to be a pump house or something. But yeah, up there. You can see some sort of pipework of some description. And then you've got the legs for something. Yeah, all quite odd. Oops. Whilst I was looking at all those funny structures and concentrating on that rather than where I was going, I now realised that I've walked half a mile in the wrong direction. So I've got to turn round and head back to that road I was on. 
Um, yeah, where I said uh, it's odd where the footpath goes, as I shouldn't have even taken the footpath, I should have stayed on the road. Anyway, not to worry. Right, I'll try again. Another one of the lodge houses, this one's Tisbury Lodge. So we're just dropping down onto um, the dam that forms the end of uh, Font Hill Lake. And so there you have some of Font Hill Lake. There's a lot more of it. You might be able to see a bit more in a second. And here's The dam, on the edge of the dam. So yeah, a bit more Font Hill Lake. The whole lake's nearly a mile long, all man-made for uh, part of the original Font Hill estate. I just stopped at the, uh, on the dam for five minutes uh, just to rest, rest the legs for, and have a quick uh, drink and uh, cooled down quite rapidly. So I've put my wind cheater back on but now I'm climbing a steep hill so no doubt it'll be coming off again and I'll be a hot sweaty mess again in a few minutes. Um, and there's a patch of blue sky up ahead, so hopefully the sun might come back out again. Well, the sun has come out. Trouble is I'm actually still in the woods. But I'm now warm having climbed that hill. Mole control. Mm -hmm. If they come round my garden. Apologies because we're looking into the sun, but that's a view of sort of where we've just come from. Um, and in the tree line, you can just see. Uh, steeple of the church, it's, I don't know what the name of the church is, but it's just behind the Beckford Arms. But anyway, the reason I'm sort of filming this is up in the woods up there is where, uh, you can't see anything, but it's where the original Font Hill Abbey was built, sort of high up, with the view looking down. And then to the woods just to the left is where the newer Font Hill Abbey was built. I believe there is some sort of building up there, but once again, the public can't get anywhere near it, so uh, I can't show you anything. And then, I'm just now walking around up here, and behind these trees up ahead is where the new Fontill house is. Whether we get a view of that or not, I'm not sure. So there's Fontill house, it's where I believe Lord Margadale lives. Just walking around beside Font Hill House. Just about to see the chimney over there.
So we're going back into the woods now, heading back in the direction of Fontill Bishop. As soon as you get out of that sun, uh, it gets chilly again, but I'll just keep going. Hopefully, yeah, that'll keep me warm enough. Got a bit of a steep climb now. There's the bottom end of Fontill Lake, you might just be able to make out down there. So I've just uh, dropped back into Fontill Bishop, the end of the walk, I have to say. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable one. Um, not as many fantastic views as I was hoping, but um, all in all, not too bad. Um, my legs have held up. It's only in the last half hour that the uh, muscles around my hip from, from last week have started complaining a little bit, but uh, nothing too much. Um, obviously, I'm not carrying anything like the weight I was last week on the pack. Um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, see you again next time. Thanks for watching.